Hi, it's Sophie Keen Drunk, back again with yet another attempt at a non alcoholic beer review. What I've got just now, this is definitely not a time of year for this beer, but it's been in my fridge for, for months. Since the summer, well, in Scotland, as we say, since the night's got a little bit longer, the weather's still shit. And it's uh, the Foster's Radler, zero on the Richter scale. Now, bought a six pack of this in the summer to review. I quite like the Radler style uh, beer, which is basically Lager Shandy. Uh, so I picked a six pack up of this and I had one earlier on today because uh, I wanted to get these reviews out of the way for Christmas. There's Radler Dop by Foster's. Foster's seem to be a joke all over the world, like the Foster's Lager. And they've got new ones out just now, like Foster's The Rum. Spice rum and something like that. Uh, I'm personally, the laggers didn't bother me. Foster's lager, I quite enjoyed it to be honest with you. Back in the day when I used to get a box of lager, very cheap, uh, you could get a box of Foster's for about six, seven quid uh, for about 12 cans a few years back. You could easily sit uh, with a nice cooking whiskey, as I like to call them, like a Famous Grouse or a White Mackay or a Bells and you could easily just sit and have a can of lager, your uh, uh, whiskey on the side. I used to quite like them. An offensive lager, uh, to be honest with you. It's just silk, it's just wet, it just chased a whiskey or a vodka and coke, whatever your poison is. So I really didn't see a problem with them. Quite a lot of people don't either because uh, they're mass produced. A lot of people don't like them. So anyway, go back to the Radler. Just smells, just total lemon, lemonade. So we'll get it here. You can see it in the bottle what colour it is anyway. But we'll get what we pour. There we go. As I said, uh, I've discovered a lot of these beers are best. It's best to leave them out of the fridge for a while. They have got a little bit of character. Believe it or not. This is just a throwback. You throw this one back. This is a... Uh, hot day, clear the stew out of your mouth. This is a, the boy for the job. So anyway, we're going for a little smell, see what we've got. Just a big wallop of uh, lemon coming up to meet you. Faint sort of uh, smell of Foster's Lager in the background. Faint sort of grassy smell. Anyway, let's go in here and try it. Slangy Vahar, sofa cane drunk, drinking a uh, Foster's Radler, zero on a Richter scale. Slangy Vahar. Lovely stuff. As I said, it's all it is is a lager shandy. Radler, wherever that comes from, that term. Uh, Refreshing, light, crisp, nice zest of the lemon uh, following through. As I said, I'm sitting in here I'm, uh, in Scotland. We've got a storm outside uh, called uh, Desmond. Uh, it's been battering us now for the last few days. Uh, torrential rain, gale force winds. Uh, probably the wrong time of year to be drinking a Foster's Rattler right enough, but... Uh, it is refreshing, it is what it is. It's it's nice, it's light, refreshing, it's a little barbecue type thing, throw it back. It's refreshing. Uh, it hasn't got the bitter lager taste that you would expect to a lot of these beers. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot you can say more about it. It's nice, six pack, easy to drink. Get the rest of it in there. <coughs> oh, it's gassy. Very, very, very highly carbonated. Yeah, it does the job. I quite like the Rattlers. I think the Foster's Rattler, the one with alcohol, it's only like 2 on the Richter scale, it's only 2%. This here is nothing. Zero. Nilt. Nilt. Is that a word? Nilch. Whatever you want to say, whatever language you're watching it in, tell me where Nilt came from. Uh, 
what can I say, have a go at it, it's an offensive, so if getting drunk, would I drink it again? Yeah, I probably would, because uh, I've drank six bottles of it, and to be honest with you, I enjoyed them. So I'm going to give the Foster's Radler uh, zero on a Richter scale. A little bit too much of the fruit uh, aspect for me, but I did enjoy them. I'm going to give that a three and a half out of five. So if you see it, and it's the weather's a lot better, have a go at it because it's not that bad. So anyway, so fucking drunk. Catch you in another beer review, non-alcoholic beer review or cider review. Ciao for now, keep drinking a good beer, I'll catch you again, ciao.